Plenty of veterans who served in Afghanistan don't want to talk about what they saw over there, but many that we met today do want to talk about it, hoping to come to terms with what we're all seeing unfold now. Our Brad Hamilton is live in Milwaukee tonight, where he sat in on a public forum held for veterans. Brad? Well, Susan, it was just an emotional day as many veterans here just try to come to grips with what they're seeing in Afghanistan. We got a chance to speak with some today about their experience in the forever war. With what's going on right now, that never again will one generation of veterans abandon another. Pain and frustration. Both feelings came up often at the war memorial in Milwaukee today. It's been a really hard week. It's been a hard week for a lot of guys and gals who have served over there. Pain in an emotional and physical sense for Army vet Jason Church. Church lost both of his legs nine years ago today while serving in Afghanistan. It is making me relive a lot of the stuff that I experienced there. In fact, it was so much that I began to look at some of the things I had long buried. But working through that pain and sharing it with others motivated Church to speak at a 90-minute panel with several dozen other veterans. But now I was put into a position where I was actually seeing that these enemies were actually people my age. They just grew up in a different country. They shared frustration, anger, but also moments of positivity, reflecting on the progress women made over the 20 years the U.S. was there. But now church and others worry that progress will quickly fade away as the Taliban takes back control. I find it very hard to believe, seeing the things that they have done. Um, I can't express in words on camera what these people are capable of doing to a fellow human. For Sam Rogers, the pain comes in a lack of sleep, knowing that fellow Americans and translators he worked with are stuck, just hoping to escape. Right now, his focus is squarely on getting those people out. It's exhausting. I, you know, Afghanistan's nine and a half hours ahead of us, so uh, for the last five, six days, I've just been on the phone, uh, on the computer all night, trying to get people to safety. There is no question that veterans across the state and across the country are hurting right now. But Rogers wants them to know that their pain and suffering is still worth it. We went to do what the American people asked us to do, right? What our elected leaders asked us to do. And we protected each other. And in the time we were in Afghanistan, despite its unsustainability, uh, we made it a better place. Well, both of these veterans wanted to make sure everyone in the community knows that this is a time to come together and not get further separated from one another and also support all the veterans as this is an extremely tough time for them. There is going to be a second panel here on August 30th. That starts at noon. Now, reporting live tonight in Milwaukee, Brad Hamilton, News 3 Now.